guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning, man. Our plan today was to continue on the chicken coop build. But this is not going to happen. No, that is not going to happen because they cut the electricity and our generator is mm. still in the post. We are going to go pick up a couple of things that we need later on this week. Some hay and some chicken feed so that we have everything when the birds come later on this week. We found this lovely family that sells a bunch of stuff for chickens we thought okay we take you guys along we will show you what they have if you know anything in Ulaanbaatar that that is better you can let us know in the comments but we thought that we would show you guys anyway that's our plan for today and we will pick up on the chicken coop build when we get some power let me up We made it to the little shop. It is in Bayahosho. It is a little family run business. We were quite impressed last time we were here with how friendly they were and what they had here. Come, we show you. They have everything. <laughs> Nice. They also have incubators. This is an incubator for 300 eggs, 64 eggs, 36 eggs, 16 eggs. I've actually seen this incubator inside his house. It's fantastic. So this is definitely something that we're gonna maybe move towards to actually incubate our own eggs. It's gonna be kind of fascinating. This is where we also got this black plastic fencing and it's nice to have so many different types of things really really interesting so we got the feeder and water for our future chicken <laughs> we're done here at the shop we it's found a really nice thing that they are, have a delivery for yeah exactly 10, to... exactly so we've ordered everything that we need so they're going to just bring it to us the thing that we like getting from them is they're such a nice family mm. i think that's really the most important really nice shop definitely recommend i will leave the description in the video down yeah. below So finally we got our electricity back, so we can get back to work. 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 push on as quick as possible. Our lean ladies are being <laughs> delivered tomorrow, so we don't have much time. So we need to get this done. The box, the door, door. and set up with some hay and everything. So when they arrive, yes. it'll be good. So what we plan to do with our chicken nest box is we are going to have a 120 centimeter box length which is going to give us four sections of 30 centimeters. We are also going to be cutting it so it comes off at a bit of an angle. We want to have a rolling nest box. Once the chickens lay the eggs, they will naturally roll down and we will have a little door where we can pick up the eggs much easier. Start of my chick's king size bed. <laughs> <laughs>
Tomek! Tak! What we came up with is we put some thin wood in between mm -hmm. so that we've created this 30 by 40 uh, spacing for each chicken because the, the recommendation we got from the person that we're buying our chickens mm -hmm. from is they don't like to nest right next to each other, mm -hmm. they peck at each other, so we have to separate them a little bit so they will be happier to lay more eggs. So anyway, that's what we came up with. The box is on. This is the angle, so when they lay the eggs it will roll and we will have covers over here. And for the underneath section we're going to go for the same plastic mesh, we're going to have that underneath. What we got is we found this product, it's a very soft plastic material and that's going to go underneath here with a bit of hay and it's really really soft for the eggs and the eggs will be able to just roll nicely down on this. And the nice thing about this is we can easily take it out, spray it down, clean it Wash when we need it, yeah. to. Yeah. Book, come on, Dick. And then you're like, oh, oh, oh. it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. No, that's perfect. Yeah. Now we need to just the cover. Yep. Work, 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 work. <laughs> oh my goodness, my look at my legs. So dirty. Oh. Again, we had a power outage. <laughs> so we are stuck at the moment. It wasn't the same as the power outage yesterday. That was apparently planned. We just didn't get the information, but this one has just cut everything. So we're waiting for electrician to come out. It seems like it's one of the boxes down the road, mm. but that means we can't cut anything anymore. <laughs> we don't know if we're gonna be able to finish this today, mm. or if it's gonna come on and we're gonna have to work a bit late in the night, mm. or if we have to get up really early. Before the chickens come. Before before the chicks come. They're arriving around lunchtime tomorrow, so no matter what, we need to have this done. But I think we're pretty much nearly there. Mm. This is a common thing in Mongolia. So the fact that our generator is still in the post doesn't help. <laughs> we're gonna go and get some lunch and we will see you later. Great, we have some power, but it's not <laughs> ours. We hijacked, our we hijacked our neighbor's power. He let us borrow a cable so we can get back to work as we need to get this done as soon as possible. Much nicer when flames is. Well, the mistake that we made is we put the side on here. It was better to go with this one first, so we took that off. We put it on the side pieces, and then it will look better. So, <laughs> anyway, we made a mistake. We beat it. So 
fix this little door and we will put a little hook on it so that when we want to clean we can just open it up, close it up. yeah egg 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 <laughs> all right mama <laughs> it's getting late i'm hungry yes we are i think that's that's it for today yeah the box is done and it came out pretty cool we're happy the guy is coming He's bringing the chickens and he's bringing some hay and food and stuff like that. Mm. So we get the chickens in tomorrow. We get the chicken tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, good night. We will see you in the morning. We have to crack on today because they will deliver our lean ladies soon. Yeah, so as Zula said, we need to get done. So we're going to go on the door this morning, get that up. We're going to do basic lap joints. Um, so we're going to cut that up and put it together so it will hold quite nicely. Mm. So that's what we need to get done. And we have a couple of corners we're going to put on just to make it a little bit nicer and the hooks and the the door frames and everything. Okay, yeah. anyway, we're gonna crack on with that and... And then last touch. The last touch. delivered so we have hay and all the chickens came so let's set it up yeah yep
finally we are able to get this project done. And even though we know we have a massive mountain to climb in front of us, today we will enjoy this victory and remember why we are doing it in the first place. No matter how big or small the task in front of us is, together we can succeed.